Hey party people, this is B Dillinger. Welcome to today's video, the fourth and final installation of the Adidas Ivy Park series. There are about four videos in this series, so if you haven't seen them, I hope you will check them out. There's a range of really cool ideas for you to check out and try. Lately, I've been spending a lot of time at home, mainly wearing joggers, hoodies, and sweats. And of course, I've been wearing a lot of flip-flops. So I thought this would be the perfect project to close out with. Here are a few reference images I came across. Did y'all even know they had flip-flops? These are super duper crazy dumb easy. I mean, easy peasy lemon squeezy as my niece would say. Seriously, this is the easiest, easiest tutorial I have ever posted. All you do is peel and stick. Anyone can make this project. No fancy tools and just a few supplies. Okay, so if you're ready, I'm ready, so let's get into it. A list of tools and supplies can be found down below in the description box. On these slides on Amazon, they kind of remind me of a missile popsicle, like the one I used to eat when I was a kid, when the ice cream man would come around and all the kids would like lose it. So I think, here, let me insert a picture. See, remember? Yeah, y'all seen this before? Right, okay. So here I decided to do a combination. So that's how I'm gonna be making these a little bit different. For these, I was thinking a blue holographic would be cool. So that's basically what I went looking for. But when I bought the blue and I put it up against the shoe, it really was too much blue. But when I flipped it over, which side was red, I really liked that a lot better. Now, the one thing that I will say about this is that the single layer, in my opinion, I thought was too thin. So to beef it up, I'm going to add another layer in solid behind it. So this ends up becoming a multi-layer sticker. So the first thing that you're gonna do is you're going to take your transfer paper and put it to the top side of the sticker and then flip it over. Working from the back, remove all of the outside frame, part of the vinyl, the parts that you don't need, and then basically discard that. To make this super easy, super duper crazy easy as I like to say, you're gonna need a tool called a weeder. Now you don't have to have it, but like I said, if you plan on doing a lot of vinyl projects, and I'm going to be posting a lot of vinyl projects on this channel, um, I highly recommend that you pick up one of these tools. Next, we need to weed the base, which basically means, like I said before, to remove the back or the outside frame from the vinyl. Then we need to stack this sticker on top of the next sticker. Now just take care when you line everything up, the margin of error is less than an eighth of an inch. Now the thing that I found that was easiest to do was to work from the center and then move outward. So once you establish the center of the sticker and you establish the center of the slide, you just line those two areas out and just basically push. For the Adidas part of the logo, this will go on by itself. So again, just a little sticker, we're gonna stick that on into the open spot and I'm gonna show you where to put that. That's it, boom, done. Okay, party people, so that is it for today's video. Thank you so much for checking in and thank you so much for, wa for watching and rocking with me. If you enjoyed this video, please do give it a thumbs up. It ranks it higher with YouTube and shares the content with other people who might be interested in this content. All right, until I see you guys next time, bye-bye. 